5 Most Unique Exotic Pets in the World Today we're going to take a closer look at 5 of the most unique exotic pets in the world. And you're going to want to stick around for number 1, possibly the strangest creature we've ever seen. Number 5 Slow Loris Maybe the most bittersweet entry on our list, the slow Loris suffers immensely at the hands of the commercial pet trade. This is evident not only anecdotally, but in the massive number of fatalities suffered every year. Before we tell you why people treat these animals so poorly, let's take a look at what makes the slow Loris so unique and such a sought after pet. The slow Loris moves extremely, well, slow, which means that it would typically be very susceptible to predators. But the slow Loris has some unique ways of overcoming this. The fact that they do move so slowly is part of what helps to protect them. The slow Loris actually moves so slowly that it makes virtually no noise and doesn't disrupt vegetation. This means that they are almost undetectable, and even if a predator spots them, they reflectively become still and cover their faces. Effectively, the slow Loris can convince its would-be attacker that they are nothing of any value. But should that fail, they have a second, far less passive line of defense. If a slow Loris is forced into a confrontation, it'll produce a secretion on its arms. This secretion is similar to a cat allergen, and on its own, it's slightly unpleasant. But the Loris will lick the strange secretion from its arms, not because it tastes good, but because it mixes with their saliva to create a vicious toxin that it then uses to land a gruesome bite to its attacker. This toxin is actually a venom, and it makes the nine known species of Loris in the world's only venomous primate. Because of this venom, a bite from a slow loris causes extremely painful swelling, and in one recorded case, actually proved fatal. It is because of these unique adaptations that the slow loris has been treated so terribly by humans. The slow loris happens to be quite an expensive commodity in the exotic pet trade. In some places, a single loris can sell for as much as $18,000. Unfortunately, out of all the slow lorises captured for sale, nearly 95% of them will sadly perish before they ever reach a customer. In Indonesia, they're widely viewed as living toys, and to keep them docile and to prevent them from delivering their painful bite, traders will snap off their two front teeth with pliers or nail clippers. This amounts to torture as it causes the loris extreme pain, excessive bleeding, and many succumb to shock from the agony and blood loss. Of those that survived the horrific ordeal, nearly 90% die of dental infections. This means that a very tiny percentage of slow lorises captured in the wild stand any chance of survival. Many organizations are working towards an end to this practice, but for the time being, these adorable primates continue to face unimaginable horror to come in at number 5 on today's list. Number 4. Serval Cat $20,000 may seem like a lot to spend on a house cat, but then again, the serval is no ordinary cat. This big cat is native to the African grasslands, just south of the Sahara Desert. And while a few brave souls have raised wild carnivores privately, it's typically at the expense of specialized facilities that often require a great deal of land. But not a serval cat, right? Well, this is where many people go wrong. Nowadays, most places require that you have a special license to own a serval, but that doesn't mean you can't. Not so long ago, this wild cat was becoming an increasingly common pet, and the more people who treated them like a domestic cat, the more people saw it and thought that they were just a large house cat, that they couldn't be further from the truth. Stalking through the tall African grass, this incredibly adept hunter preys on rodents, small birds, frogs, insects, and reptiles. While some iconic big cats hunt by means of pure force, the serval prefers a slightly different approach, opting instead for an aerial attack. Where the serval senses prey, it'll leap as high as 12 feet in the air before landing on top of its prey with its forefeet and biting on the neck or head, causing fatal injury. People who purchase servals expecting a 35-pound house cat are taken aback when they realize that this creature is anything but domesticated. Serval cats are big and very smart. 
meaning they're likely to escape if the right provisions aren't taken. This means that your average backyard is definitely not secure enough to contain one. Another consideration is that many people fail to account for is that serval cats diets? A simple can of Fancy Feast won't do anything for this apex predator, and they require a widely varied diet of poultry, rodent, and seafood. This means that potential owners should be prepared to feed a new pet a combination of necks, legs, gizzards, cod, salmon, fruits, vegetables, and even grass. This makes the serval a far bigger responsibility than your typical tabby. If, however, you can provide the proper environment and diet for the feline, and you have $20,000 burning a hole in your pocket, a serval might be the pet for you, but probably not. Number three, Kinkajou. This mammal, native to the tropical rainforests of Central and Southern America, is a nocturnal tree dweller who rarely finds the need to touch the ground. While these adorable creatures, who resemble a bear-monkey hybrid, can be playful, docile, and quiet pets, they also aren't morning people. Kinkajou prefer to be awake between 7 p.m. and midnight, and then again an hour before dawn. The rest of the day, they're spent sleeping. This means that if you expect your pet Kinkajou to be social during the daytime, you're likely to be very disappointed. In fact, if you keep one awake during sunlight hours, they're likely to become very irritable. And that's something you might want to avoid. Kinkajows may be absolutely adorable, but they can also be vicious. When one is agitated, they'll release a wild scream and lunge at their intended victim. Then they violently claw at them until they're removed. What's worse than the claws, though, is their bite. Kinkajows can carry a parasite known as raccoon roundworm. This parasite can be transmitted to humans via the Kinkajows bite. Once inside, It'll perforate the gut wall and head for the brain. If the raccoon roundworm reaches your brain, the consequences can be deadly. Despite this, if you have an extra $3,500 to spend, these creatures are pretty easy to care for, subsiding largely on fruit. And figs in particular are their favorite. The kinkajou is an omnivore though, and a small percentage of its diet is made up of ants and other small insects. They're able to eat more effectively thanks to an incredible five inch tongue. Bringing a kinkajou into your home will undoubtedly provide a lot of joy, but they are no short-term commitment. The average kinkajou in captivity can live as long as 23 years, with the world's oldest reaching an amazing 40 years of age. This mammal who hates mornings comes in at number three. With that, it's now time for today's best pick. This image was sent to us by a subscriber just like you. If you want to see your photo in a future video, send us any image or clip and we'll research it and tell you what we find in an upcoming video. This little guy in this picture is one of nearly 5,600 different species of lizard. While it's hard to say just which one it might be, here at Top 5 we hunkered down and searched for an answer. While it's tough to say for sure, it's possible that this creature is one of the 1,500 different types of skink found in the world. The skink is a shy little creature that prefers to hide out under leaves, in burrows, or in man-made structures. In fact, some species of skink are considered pests in parts of the southern United States, but not all of them are regarded as a burden. While most skinks are characteristically smooth, the one in this picture is quite like a red-eyed crocodile skink, a species native to the tropical rainforests of New Guinea. These little guys are frequently sold as exotic pets, and you can pick one up at around $150. Now let's take a moment for an honorary mention. While most people are trying to keep cockroaches out of their house, a rare few are inviting them in. But not just any cockroaches, the Madagascar hissing cockroach. Hissing cockroaches are the largest species of cockroach in the world, averaging two to three inches in length. And perhaps their most unique feature is the unique hissing sound that they produce. While you may think that other creatures produce a similar sound, the hissing cockroach is unique in the way it does so. Unlike a small handful of other insects that are capable of vocalization, the hissing cockroach generates its sound by forcing air through specially adapted respiratory openings called spiracles. These spiracles compress the air, allowing them to emit their distinctive hiss. They are beloved pets to those who own them, and you can buy a breeding pair for a little over $10. Could you ever own a cockroach? 
Take a minute to let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. And guess what? If this video hits 5,000 likes, I'll bring you a collection of five strange insects that you've never heard of. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only five seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number one, Caecilian. Our final entry is something like a worm crossed with a platypus, and something you really need to see to believe. This is a Caecilian, and it's probably unlike anything you've seen before. It pretty much looks like a worm, but this odd little creature is actually an amphibian. It just happens to lack limbs and a tail. Caecilians can live in a range of environments, from water to dry land, depending on the species. And while many resemble common earthworms, some are actually quite colorful, and they range dramatically in size too, with smaller species looking like mere insects, and larger species reaching lengths of five feet. These unique creatures are expertly adapted to their environment, with the majority of species being burrowers that have strong jaw muscles and skulls that allow the Cassilian to plow through the dirt very effectively. They also have a unique muscular and skeletal system throughout the remainder of their body, which allows them to leverage their bodies like a piston, driving considerable impact behind their highly reinforced skulls. While unlike worms, all but one species of Cassilian have working lungs they also absorb oxygen in much the same way as worms, using their skin in a process almost like photosynthesis. While we know some amazing facts about the Cassilian, there's still a lot that remains unknown. But one horrifying aspect of their diet that has been observed is how certain species feed their young. The mother will build up a layer of fat and flesh that is then eaten from her body. They will repeat this process every three days until the younger Cassilian are able to hunt for themselves. The sense of mystery that surrounds them may be part of their appeal. In fact, this bizarre creature is kept as an exotic pet and can be picked up for around $60. However, experts warn that they should only be kept by experienced amphibian and reptile enthusiasts as they require specific conditions and are fed live food. These strange creatures who are part worm and part horror movie take the number one spot on our list. Which unique pet from today's list do you want to own? Let us know in the comments below. And make sure you click on one of the videos on screen to hear another amazing story.